So as I'm sure Simon has mentioned there, we've got Chad Amella fighting out of the red corner. Lance Bustos from Belfast fighting out of the blue corner. Some fantastic fighters coming out of Belfast as we know. This one shouldn't be any different. Should be a great contest. It's gonna be, it's gonna, look, Julian, this is gonna be fabulous. How interesting is this? Look, look at that. We've got a massive height difference. Huge height you know, difference. I'm gonna, I'm very this, interested I'm to really, see really how he's gonna overcome to this. this. Really looking forward to this fight. Ryan's got a great camp over there in Belfast. He's got some brilliant fighters. Absolutely. Doing some good things and they've traveled over here. Uh, to come to part, be part of this show. Uh, who, who wouldn't want to be part of this show? Well, it's fantastic that they've come all the way over. You know, like you say, no, you know, anybody would want to be part of something so prestigious. Uh, the fact that they've come over to represent us on this show is absolutely amazing. Let's see if the equipment holds up this time. <laughs> and here we go, round number one. Yeah, oh, like great say, job there, Simon. No problem. <laughs> Change of ref, Trevor Pye in the ring now. Rue Towers sat alongside us, he is judging the contest. So, wow, fast start from Lance. Fast Look, start there fast from hands. Lance. Fast hands from Lance. Great hands on him there. And the way he worked his way into get inside that longer reach as well, fantastic. And Chad just scoping him out, taking his time there. And again, he's coming in. He's he is extremely he is. fast. But doing that, you know what it's like, you can leave yourself open. Yes. He's fast, but he needs to use that speed intelligently. Absolutely. Very difficult for him to get in. So I've just got to keep working. Just keep, keep him moving. I mean, this is a perfect example of using the jab to keep him off you, isn't it, Simon? Absolutely. This is where the, I mean, we, it's, look, we've seen it. Look, Ruiz against Joshua, wasn't it? Yep, absolutely. The tall man in against the short guy, and the short guy had his number. He did, he did really well. Absolutely. And again, it's because you're not utilising that, that most effective and simplest of weapons, which is the jab. It is. Good contest, this one so far. Again, we've got Chad Meller versus Lance Bustos from Belfast. That seems pretty comfortable. Does, he does. He does Good shot it's there. frenetic, isn't it? Yes. They're just moving around, feeling yeah. each other out now. I mean, you know Some of the best fighters who weren't, weren't graced as being the tallest. You watch Tyson, the way Tyson cut his angles. Absolutely. He wouldn't come straight at you, he'd come from all different angles. Indeed, bobbing and weaving coming from the side like a windscreen wiper good first round good first, good first round. round interesting contest this one who would you say took that one Simon I think I think just for work rate I'd probably just give it to Lance but only just yeah the very close round very very close one for that for me Chad looked more composed mm -hmm. um, as the round grew on as he started to get into it a little bit yep he did start to find his feet a little bit there and I think he's starting to Understand what Lance's MO is. Yep. Looking forward to the second round. Trying to have a listen and see what the corner's saying to Lance. And if I was in that corner, I'm sure you would as well, Simon. You'd be telling him to come in, use the angles, get underneath that long reach of Chad's and, and, and body and head. If he's going to come in and if he's throwing punches and punches, he's got to be careful because all Chad needs to do is take one step back and catch him on the counter. That's right. Advice there from, his, from the boys. Just have to say, what a crowd we've got here tonight as well. Oh, absolutely! There's always a fantastic crowd. I mean, this is one of the biggest crowds that we we get. Um, they are loud. They're raucous. They always come out to support us. And huge, again, huge Rainton boxing medals. fans in this in the northeast. Oh, of England. absolutely, absolutely. Some of the best fans. Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. This is, of course, round two. Chad versus Lance. Yeah. Trevor there, just having a word with him. Yeah, Chad, just trying to, just, just trying, he's maybe trying to get inside Lance's head a little bit there. Yeah, I think he was. Chad seems to be stepping it up now. I think he's going to start. Just took that first round, working him out. 
And Lance is looking a little bit more composed now as well, isn't he? Lance, yeah, he's, he's, he's been a bit more methodical. He's taking a bit more time. He's not going in, rushing in with all them shots. Mm -hmm. I want to start to see Chad just start to... A little bit more aggression. Caught him there on he the inside. Is, yeah, he got a great shot from that. And another. It's Bobbin. And he's again. caught him there with yeah. a combo. At least three, three of those yeah. landed. He is. I think the... I think his issue because of the height difference there as well the power he's got to get closer in yeah he's catching him but the, the, the power's not really there but they're scoring shots they are scoring shots all of them are landing and for me this is another example of, of um, Lance sorry Chad needing to use that jab keep him off him with the jab but whenever he does throw it Lance does seem to be evading it quite well it does. do you think Chad's just looking for that one shot catches him again 20 seconds of the round. Body and head. Chad's got to step it up. Oh, good movement there. He came in through the feint and then through the shot. Great. Loving that. Another good round. Another, Another good, good round. round. Again, Chad, Chad, he's got to step his work rate up. He's not throwing it. And he, look, take advantage of the southpaw. Yeah not really letting his hands go and again I know I've said it a few times and I'm probably going to say it a few times throughout the night but for me the jab is key when you've got that sort of height advantage you have to use that jab effectively he does can't agree can't agree more Julian you're right I think Lance is doing really he's take he's taking advantage of his height he's getting inside he's getting underneath Chad there and we saw there in that second round he caught him with a few shots Ooh. He did, and his movement definitely um, definitely was better in that round than it was in the previous one. Seemed to be more composed, thinking about what he's going to do, and landing those shots. And as we saw there, he landed combinations after combinations in that round. And again, I've got to give that one to I've got to give that one to Lance. Yeah, I have to agree. Again, good advice there from Ryan. Just certain, just get inside. Don't let too many shots go. But pick your shots. So we're going to the final round of this content contest. And here we go, it looks like uh, Chad, Chad is picking it up, it up a now. bit now. I think he realises he's got it all to do he in this to, round. He is. And great shots coming in. Caught him with a nice left-right combination He there. did indeed, yes, great shots. And he's doing more now, you can see now he's trying to control things, keep him in the corner and on the ropes. He Good uppercut and a left, left hook uppercut there. to the body. Lance is still catching him as we go. Yeah, Chad's definitely stepping this up, he's more aggressive now. He's looking to pick shots out. Oh, and a great, beautiful, beautiful shot there from Chad. Lance took it. Lance took the shot. Tough guy. And this is, of course, for the flyweight. This is a flyweight title fight. So it's all on the line here. Chad versus Lance. I believe Lance took the first two, but Chad is making a great account of himself yeah, here it, in this look, one. You know, how many times have you seen it? The fighter that wins the last round of the, of the contest takes the, takes the bout. Yep. You know, you've got to go at it. Fantastic fight so far. Been impressed with these two guys. Absolutely. Good body shot there. Yeah, Lance took some good shots from Chad, and he's still moving. He's still coming forward. He's still, still active. Oh, body and head. Although the referee's having a word. 30 seconds left of the round. I think that was a slip there, Julian. That was indeed, yeah. Was a knockdown? Bit of a slip there. 10 seconds left of the round. Good contest, good contest from both of them guys. Chad started off very, very measured. And as the fight went on, he increased his efforts, increased the energy, started to unload. Caught Lance with two great shots, hit him with an absolute beautiful left hand. But Lance, fair play to this guy. He's come over from Northern Ireland, tough guy. I'm gonna hand you over to our MC, Julian Jeffrey, for the official decision.
And let's see who we've got, who is our premier boxing championship flyweight title winner. Great effort there by Lance. Lance takes the belt. PBC flyweight champion coming over from Belfast. Fighting out of the RM boxing stable. Great contest. Chad, he just didn't do enough at the beginning. He just needed to step it up. He showed what he had in the third round. He was catching it with some great shots. Two great left hands. I think if he'd have started off a little bit quicker, I think the decision may have gone the other way, but Lance is your champion. Congratulations, Lance Bustos. It's a happy guy. There he is with his team. They are in boxing, guys. Excellent, excellent contest. Congratulations to Lance. Fantastic. Well, you enjoy the victory. Thank you for coming over. Ladies and gentlemen. 